So at this point, we have our 3D printed part and we're ready to spur it on a base. And before you do that, you want to find a flask that is the appropriate height for your part to go completely through and fit in concentrically with at least six millimeters or a quarter of an inch around the perimeter. So you want to make sure that that's happening before you pick out the rubber base, right? Because the rubber base is going to seat on your flask. Pull that off. We're going to light our alcohol lamp. So there's a very slight flame there. And then we've got our wax sprue already ready on the bottom. So we're going to heat up our tool, touch down between the sprue and the base itself, and get it to fuse. See if we can get the camera to catch that angle. A little more forward here. So just heat it up until you see the wax flow on your hot tool. And then lightly slide it on the base, touch down pull away. And at this point you're just waiting for wax to cool so try not to move. Relax your grip. And that is your sprued part. If you feel like there's any girdling at that waistline you can touch it up with the hot tool. But all we're really looking for here is to make sure that this flask fits around our part nice and uniformly. Right. So that there's room around the perimeter and that the top is at minimum quarter to a half inch away from your part. Okay, and so we can put the whole box to match as we know we have tons of room.